This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of NRA Secrets, I'm going to show you how to safely break up a dog fight. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video in part comes from one of you, a YouTube subscriber who asked they had a really a difficult encounter recently where they were out walking their dog, another dog who was off leash, didn't look like he was with them, uh, came in pretty aggressively, uh, her dog acted you know, maybe a little bit protective, they got into this huge dog fight and you know, she, she had some marks on her, so the question from her was, you know, how do I safely do this? I mean, how can you break up a dog fight? So today, as you can see in the background and probably here, I'm featuring Pippi and Mizir Pernod. They're both friends. They sound a bit aggressive. That was MP running into me. But it's going to be a good example, a good way to show you, you know, the safe way to do it, when you should intervene and not, and how to not get yourself hurt. So my first big point is, you know, knowing when it's serious or not, when should you intervene, when can you just sit back and wait? So first, when you're just watching that interaction there with Mr. Perno and Pippi, yeah, there's some growling, there's a lot of noise, there's still some tail wagging. And maybe someone who doesn't know dogs might first walk in there and think, oh my God, you know, something serious is happening, I've got to intervene. But, you know, if we sit back there and watch them, you can get a pretty good sense that, yeah, it's play. It's aggressive play. That's what dogs do. It's normal dog behavior. So there's Nzir Perel who's chewing on Pippi. Pippi responding, there's going to be some noise. So the first thing would be just, you know, using your voice and, you know, your firm command. Not yelling, not stop all the screaming. Your dog's again, not going to hear that with the other dog. Use your, your firm kind of alpha voice, using words like to get that other dog to come off. Like, hey, this is your car now! No! <laughs> so often when they hear that, they're like, okay, here's someone more dominant than me. All of a sudden, he sounds more assertive. I've got to stop. So not just that simple, loud voice, you're acting like you're big, you're strong, you're looking like the dominant one. He's gonna get that dog to, whoa, maybe I should back off. This other human there looks bigger than me, can I be more aggressive, I better stop. The next thing is, you know, trying to use something, some type of shield to get in between them. So they are fighting again. One of the worst things, you know, one of the worst things I've seen people do, or clients or other dog owners, is getting their hands or their arms near, your, near these dogs in your mouth. I mean, anytime a dogs are biting, and they're not thinking, they're just, acting aggressively. They may or may not even know that you're your owner. I mean, your dog is responding to a dog who's attacking him or her, and the other dog is aggressively, and he's set on you know, fighting with that dog. You need to get in there to try to break them up, but also not getting yourself injured. So if you can grab something, you know, a little a piece of wood, a stick or something to put, to put between those two dogs, but also shielding yourself. Because so I've got this cardboard here, right? I mean, even if it was a stick, anything you could grab, just to get placed between that other dog. And you're kind of back. Where you're, you know, you've got just some physical barrier that you can separate them without getting yourself hurt. I just really think their mouths are, they're, they're so fast, they can move their head so quick, in no time they can be biting you. You, you want to stop that, but you want to look big, strong, you know, like you're the alpha person who's going to block up that fight. So get in between, you know, that aggressive dog and your own dog. Assuming you're walking your dog with a leash, your dog is probably off leash while this is happening, get a hold of that leash, try to use that leash to either get it around that other dog's head or his muzzle ideally, because that's what you're trying to, trying to control. And it's a really safe way for you to potentially break up that fight without getting yourself injured. That's my model, they're chewing on. Give me that, hey. Okay. You, I'm a jerk, give me that, hey. Mature. Ah. You know, so the other dog moves, turns his head or something for a second. You're going to throw a leash around his neck, pull him back. Some of the trainers, his advocators suggested, you know, especially if there's two of you behind, they use the wheelbarrow method. 
So you're going crazy, he thinks it thinks the tough cool. grabbing his back legs. Honestly, be a bit concerned about that working very effectively. As you can see how fast he can turn his head and go for it. Um, a couple times I was in practice where either I was at risk of being bit, or you know, a couple times I'm almost cornered in the exam room. The one way I've found to be personally more effective is if I can control their strut and often control the bite. So if you watch Mr. Arno here, and this would be in a situation like nothing else is working, you want to try to stop this dog bite. Get yourself fit. You gotta get it scrap fast. But we're all there. Now you can stop biting the piggy. It's not an easy thing to do when you've got two dogs fighting. You're kind of gonna do whatever you can. You're you're gonna decide if it's if you even need to intervene. Use your loud voice. Try to get something in between them. Then you know try to use some alternate way to break them up. You know if nothing else is working. And whatever you can do at the same time, you know, being keeping yourself safe as well, so you don't get seriously seriously hurt as well. And just knowing that their mouths are that fast, and you can just see them as your partner how quickly their head can turn. So you really have to, you know, be thoughtful, act quick, use some good reflexes uh, for that to happen safely. Hopefully, none of you are ever going to need to be in that position. Um, but if you do, you know, just use some of that common sense tips I've suggested, and hopefully that will break up that dog fight. Thank you for watching this edition of NRA Secrets. What I want you to do now is first click up there to subscribe to my channel. Then next, go ahead and click that link in the box below and I can send you my free books and videos on how to heal your dogs at home with my top natural remedies.